Oh my god, that was so good. That was so beautiful. Jesus. Konbawa, my Giga Chads. Tashiwa Saihiyama's future husband des. Um, we're gonna try and react to uh, martial art fight scenes again and let's see how that turns out. For those that are new to my channel, my name is Giga Chad Taku. I have amateur kickboxing experience with a little bit of jujitsu. Big shout out to Cole for commenting. Love Sharma, Stefan Brown. Thanks so much for the comments. Also thanks to Jules Unihearts of Anime and Gaming for the subscription. Appreciate you guys. All right, let's begin. Um, for the record, if you guys keep hearing me say, Oy, that's what you're supposed to say in Muay Thai and uh, kickboxing. It's a Thai thing. Headbutt. Damn. Dude, you gotta love the, the old school film aesthetics. It's so like pretty. For those that don't know, this was a uh, shot on uh, film. Rapist! Cancel him! Cancel him! Ooh, Ty. Dude, never underestimate Ty's. Even if there's a weight disparity. Hell yeah, dude, let's go! Fuck him up! Let's go, Ty's. Dude, if this was like a realistic... I'm, this part is this movie's pretty realistic, but like, this is just like uh, in real life, I would always have my money on the Ty. Even if there's no weight class. Fuck him up, bro. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Damn. The guy doesn't even look that big, though. My money's on top Muay Thai. Oh, hey. For those that know, I do. I, Muay Thai was my uh, combat sport. So is kickboxing. But uh, I have a close tie to Muay Thai. <laughs> Oh no, you gotta use the clinch, my friend. Oh, hey. he got headbutted. <laughs> you gotta love old school uh, martial arts sound effects. Oh shit, she did more damage than him. Oh, hey. hell yeah. With his man purse, let's go. Fuck him up. That looked weird. <laughs> I love it. Dude, let's go. No, fuck you. Motai's life. Oh, hey. Teep. Oh my god, that teep was beautiful. Oh, hey. Elbows. Oh, hey. Knees. God, this makes me wish I had money so I can train again. Fuck. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hook. Jesus. That was kind of like a Superman elbow. Like he came up the angle. Oh, hey. Wait, why does he have a lackey? Way, fuck, dude, that guy would be bleeding right now. For those that I know, getting hit with elbows cuts you up, dude. He should be bleeding right now, profusely. Not that blood is dangerous in that sense, but like, when you get cut open, and blood starts seeping into your eyes and you can't see and you can't breathe. Ooh. That's the power of Muay Thai, baby. Let's go. Dude, he looks like he's 140. And he fought a fucking heavyweight. Well, that guy doesn't look that too big. He looks like he's like 180. What the fuck? Dude, I would not be intimidated by two fucking foreigners preventing me to walk off. Oh, fuck yeah. Another Asian. Now this is a good fight. It looks like they're kind of mocking Bruce Lee just a little bit. Ooh, shit. He looks Korean. Is he supposed to be Korean? 
And we're gonna see Taekwondo. Oh, we're seeing Taekwondo. But the crazy thing is though, like Muay Thai and Taekwondo go together. If it was just style versus style, I would say uh, Muay Thai would generally win, especially how it's evolved throughout the years. Um, because the problem with uh, Taekwondo, it's in a bladed stance. And the counter for bladed stance is a uh, calf kick, and which is so easy to do. Um, but the, I think the key now to evolve in your striking martial art is you need to combine with having Muay Thai as a base and adding uh, adding traditional martial arts like uh, uh, Taekwondo to make your, your fighting style even more dangerous. That is my belief. Dude, this is fucking fascinating. Like, I feel like they're kind of mocking oh, fucking uh, opening lead hook kick. They're kind of mocking uh, Bruce Lee a little bit. Oi! It's a power of Muay Thai, baby! It's kind of hot, no cap. Cell Power's Ortho. Dude, spinning hook kick. Another spinning hook kick. Sit the fuck down. Taekwondo can work. It just, you need to understand when to go into that mode. If you guys look up Kwan Kicker on uh, YouTube, he's like one of the best Taekwondo practitioners that I've seen that actually used it in like in a kickboxing aspect. Oh, I use that move. Jumping around house. Oh, check that kick, baby. Dude, that fancy ass check with the behind the leg. What I love about this like style is it's all like also defense too. Like you don't see that in any other like martial art. Muay Thai just has good defense. Checking with the kicks. Oop. That's the importance of feints, baby. Let's go. But that wouldn't hurt in real life. That, like that was totally like just a touch kick. Oh, I knees. Hey, hey. Dude, the reason why Muay Thai is like so much better than like all combat sports, like versus like boxing. Dude, like boxing, you get to, you guys get to fucking wear the the rib protectors and the liver protectors. Dude, we have to take we don't have we don't get to wear that, and we have to take fucking knees to the body or the heels of the foot to the body. Dude, Muay Thai is no joke. Oh hey, oh hey. He did his own spinning back kick. Dude, look at that blocking. Look at that checks. It's called check if you don't know. Um, when you when you use your shin to protect against kicks. Oh, dude, delayed counter. Dude, this is this is what actually would work. What happened in real life if the type practitioner is good enough? You would just get leg kicked to death. Oh my god, that was so good. That was so beautiful. Jesus. Sit down, knees, baby. He just looks bigger than him. Tony Jaw here looks like he's like in 140. And that guy's probably in the 200. Oh, hey, teep, teep. Look at that defense. No, get the fuck out there. No, 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 no. That's defense, baby. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. Defense, baby. Check that shit, bro. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Dude, he, he, he fucking elbowed the fucking base. Oh, he's in the clinch. You're dead. You're dead, bro. You're dead. You're in the clinch. Unless this guy's a jujitsu practitioner, he's fucked. Oh, hey. <laughs> I said, oh, hey, for the wrong team. <laughs> oh. That was like RVD's uh, when he throws you the chair and you get kicked. Oh, dude. Oh, hey. Oh, dude. You're getting elbowed. An IRL, dude, they would be like cut all over, bleeding. Dude, Tony Jaw's elbows look pointy, too. Gotta love defense. Oh, shit. 
damn, he dropped you with like a like a kind of that's kind of like a cartwheel kick. But knee, cartwheel knee. Dude, you gotta love practical effects, dude. This was like fuck. I don't know how old this movie is, but damn, still looks good. Still looks good. Watch, he's in the top rope. Oh, Tony Jaa used stealth. It was super effective. <laughs> Dude, just hit her just once, just for like the comedic relief. Bro, you had your hostage. You lost your hostage. That was a weirdly framed shot. I didn't like how that was framed. Tape! 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 Oh, a tape! Dude, tapes are no joke. Tapes are like the sidekick of Muay Thai, but then, like, um, it's shot more from the square stance. But uh, there are people that tip like a sidekick, like Taiwan Chai. Oh, there's another fighter there. The power of the clinch, baby. Dude, he'd need him on the way down to get an insult to injury. Winner. All right, my Giga Chats, that was fucking epic. Holy shit. Not going to be able to sleep tonight. I give this fight a 50 out of 30. It gets the S tier rank. The rest of my review will be in the comments below. Um, so I'm testing out this series. Um, or I'm, I'm retesting the series again where I react to uh, martial art fight scenes. And I want to make it a democracy, so you guys get to choose which uh, fight scene I should react to next. It could be a TV show, a movie, even an anime. So I'm going to leave a comment uh, below. Look at the pinned comment to uh, put your uh, vote which uh, reaction scene I should do next. And then um, from there, we'll do a poll. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and sub.